hey! <laughs> Welcome back to Pleasant Valley Junction. Just getting this all going over, fired up, and ready to rock and roll here in just a little bit. Had to throw a few scoops of coal on. But you know, it's amazing to see the different types of fuel that steam locomotives can burn. Let's take a look at some of these different fuels. Back in the early days, the most plentiful source of fuel was this. Wood. There were many wood burners across the U.S. at the time. Although, as uh, supplies started to be in short demand, and plus, burning green wood was never a treat, they resorted to different types of fuel. Next came the most popular source of fuel, is coal. That's right, these little bits here can put on a real good fire. And some engines actually ran on both bituminous coal, which is a little more dirtier coal, or anthracite coal. That was a little more cleaner coal, but you needed an extra wide fireworks in order to disperse the heat just right. But then, even this was found wanting over time, especially out on the west coast where coal wasn't as readily available. That's where they resorted to this type of fuel. That's right, you guessed it, oil. <laughs> There's a lot of engines that burn oil these days. Most west coast engines do burn oil, but now that coal is also becoming a little short in supply here and there, a lot of other railroads have converted their steam engines to run on oil. Today's diesel electric engines often run on oil. So that's the story on the different types of fuel for steam locomotives. And speaking of which, this one here is ready to rock and roll, and I got a fire to get going. So, I'll see you next time at Pleasant Valley Junction.